purpose of today's breakfast was to create a platform where industry could learn from one another about what resource efficiency measures they have done on site to become more efficient, looking at energy, water and waste. It's an honour to be here this morning to share some time with you. And let me congratulate you up front for all the work that you are doing, for all the innovation, for all the creativity that we see in the industry. Now the Western Cape Industrial Symbiosis Program is one such initiative, and that's why I want to congratulate you, that is playing its own role to mitigate climate change. It is an effective intervention to drive resource efficiency within the manufacturing sector, mitigating climate change, impacts by reducing the carbon intensity of the production processes. It simultaneously provides financial benefits to businesses and job creation opportunities. So the impact of this program is really striking. The WIS program. The City of Cape Town is providing some funding to this program and we have got all the intention to renew our commitment but also to increase our commitment to the WIS program going into the future. I'm also encouraged by WIS program, the program that is increasingly placing emphasis on entrepreneurship and job creation. WIS recently launched an enterprise development program with the South African Renewable Energy Business Incubator, Cerebi, an initiative that the city also provides extensive support to. So we promised you three case studies, one in energy, one in water, one in waste. I'm really excited to have um, Chris Hunt from ACA Threads with us. ACA Threads was one of WISP's first members. They've stuck with us since 2013, and they've done a lot in energy, water, and waste. Um, so I'm going to ask Chris to, to come up and, and start us off. So our sustainability journey, if I just break it down into electricity, uh, heavy furnace oil, our boilers are fueled by our, the oil, um, water, recycling results. In uh, 2012, we used about 0.48 liters of HFO for every kilogram diet. Now, 2016, we used 0.3 liters of HFO for every kilogram diet. The difference is a yearly saving of half a million rand. The savings of this was actually quite staggering. Water usage for every kilogram diet. Um, in 2012, we used 160 liters of water per kilogram diet. At the moment, we're dying about 40 tons. We reduced that now at the moment to 48 liters per kilogram. Thank you. Um, so that is about four and a half million liters saving of water per month. So, um, and that amounts to about 175,000 rand per month. Okay, so um, when we were approached by the city of Cape Town to participate in this water star rating, there was a little bit of trepidation to sort of say, well, what if they find something that we're not aware of? Um, yeah. What if we get exposed? And we thought, no, we want to know. If there is a gap, we want to know what it is. We want to understand what it is. We want to close that gap. Okay, so how did we land at five, five stars? I think we were, we didn't have any specific expectation. We didn't go into this with a view to saying, okay, let's get five stars. We just said, let's, where are we at? We did get five stars, and maybe some of it is because it's underpinned by some of the, a lot of the company's values, which, uh, which are driven um, or led from the top. Um, so we have, uh, we, we're very responsible about our, our, our environmental sustainability. There's no good making great products that help people feel better and live longer when you when you're trashing the environment in the process. So um, from GSK's perspective, for a very long time, there's been a global reporting uh, system. We've got to report every month our waste numbers, our energy numbers, our water numbers, so that, that there is a tracking globally, but also locally, to sort of say, are you moving in the right direction? 
Uh, another, this, this had a very, very big impact on the site's water consumption. We've got cooling towers, so air, our air conditioning systems are fed by chillers, which are water-cooled. They guzzle a lot of water just by design. Uh, it helps with efficiency from an energy point of view, but from a water point of view, not very nice. Um, we also have reverse osmosis water plants, two on site, one big one, one smaller one. By the way that just our water is made, you get reject water and you get good water. And the reject water was tested and it was found to be adequately good if we mix it with uh, potable water to, to work for the cooling tower. So we're recovering the reverse osmosis reject water and, and another, a couple of other uh, sources, putting it into an 18,000 litre tank and then that is being distributed to the cooling towers around the factory. We're down to seven cooling towers now, and when this project was implemented, we had ten. Um, so that's another story in itself. I believe that um, products which are which come out of industry, which come out of civilization, sewage, is not a waste product. They're byproducts. I like to use the word byproduct because I think there's value in just about everything we look at. And we approached Atlantis Foundries to um, look at processing one of their waste streams. Um, it is a waste stream from their shock blasting unit, which they were um, previously dumping and uh, going to physics hook uh, as a hazardous waste. Um, they allowed us and we contracted with them to process this waste stream. And um, in doing so, we separate uh, the metal from the waste stream, which we process into uh, new products, which are sold back into the industry as abrasives. We also uh, sell some of those products back into uh, other industries like lead recycling, um, alloying of aluminium, etc. And then the, um, uh, the silica sand and the chrome sand that we separate from that waste stream is still dumped, but we're working on, project, on a project to uh, recycle that as well. It is still dumped, but having said that, it is dumped as a non-hazardous waste as opposed to a hazardous waste. So we're still providing a benefit there. Um, the, the volumes, uh, by the way, uh, that we're saving um, going to <coughs> Business Hook um, of this waste stream is about a thousand tons a year. 